Vanuatu is located in the Southwest Pacific. It's a nation of 65 major inhabited islands with 125 distinct languages and tribes. It's everything you imagine when you imagine the South Pacific. It's the gorgeous beaches, the beautiful sunsets, the volcanoes, the high mountain interiors. Within Vanuatu, there's uh, just this really diverse tapestry of culture and, and even people groups. On the coastal areas of all these islands, you've got Christianity. It's been there for 120 years. People have, have really reformed their lives in somewhat, we would think, even a modern lifestyle in town with electricity, etc. Then in the interior, you've got people who are living in the Stone Age, sleeping in thatch huts, sleeping on the floor, using clay pots that they made themselves and worshiping the same gods that their ancestors have worshiped for 10,000 years. Part of our ministry is what we call extreme missions treks, where we hike as long as 75 miles to get into these very remote areas where unreached people live. As we're going through showing the Jesus film, preaching, there'll be people who come to Christ. And the invitation is always there, come to town, let me teach you more of God's Word. And that is the student base of Central Bay Bible Training Center. It's these tribes people that have come to Christ. They may be the first Christian in their tribe and they're coming to learn God's Word so that they can teach their own people. When we're talking about missions and we're talking about establishing various programs or schools, the question is always, does it work? Central Bay Bible Training Center is working. And one of the best ways I know to display that is the story of our first student. His name is Samson. The village of Malui Kalaway, where Samson has gone and, and pioneered his first church. The first time I walked into it, it is a completely pagan, illiterate village that's characterized by its rejection of all things Western and God. After a few months of Samson being in that village, I walked back in. Samson has taught every adult in the village how to read and write. People who were, who were dancing on coals of fire to appease his spirit six months earlier are sitting in a church house with their Bible open, reading to me in Bishlama. That's an amazing transformation in a person's life. At Central Bay Bible Training Center, students are introduced to six months of intensive Bible training coupled with hands-on experience in ministry. Simply put, Central Bay Bible Training Center exists to rapidly train and deploy pastors among the unreached peoples of Espiritu Santo and Pentecost. Central Bay Bible Training Center is working. What we need is more pastors like Samson. Right now, we're turning away students from the interior because we have no place for them to stay. We need to expand the existing program so that the first year can just be literacy training for those who don't know how to read. And the second year can be spent on Bible training. We need to purchase and build a campus. What we envision is a 20-acre campus that we can build on a village model. There is no way I can ever get to every one of these thousand villages in the interior of Espiritu Santo. We've got to have local pastors that we can release into that ministry. We really do need another hundred Samsons. If you don't know how to read and write, you have no way of growing in your faith. You have no way of knowing who God is or how to live a Christian life. If we're going to evangelize these people, then we have to provide someone to disciple them in the relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what Central Bay Bible Training Center does. It trains the pastors who are going to teach God's Word to their own people.